Hi, it's Eva, and today I am hijacking my mom's account another time. And today I'm going to do a really cool technique using gelatos and embossing paste. So, yeah, let's get started. And I'll probably actually be hijacking her account a lot. So, yeah. Let's get started. Okay, so start by taking any color gelatos, and I'm using pink and yellow so they can meet in the middle and make orange and just start putting them all over your paper. So once you're done doing that, you can just spray like three or four squirts on your paper and just to like mix the colors together a little more. So one thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this orange gelato and kind of make it a little more orange in the middle so I'm kind of going to like wipe all the wet off. So you can kind of like play around with it and like make it to how you want it. And I think this looks kind of cool because it's like a sunset. And you want to wait until it completely dries before you do anything else on the card. Okay, so this is dry and I want to use this Mixables stencil. And I really like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it over my base or whatever you call it and then just tape it down but this is the dream weaver's stencil embossing paste and i'm using this palette knife to get this on here so just like frost it basically like a cupcake and then just like spread it out And I think it looks pretty cool to get like this cool tie-dye look in the background. So I took off this stencil and I think it looks really cool. And one thing you need to keep in mind with embossing paste is it dries pretty fast. So that's good for the card, but you need to like clean it up really quick so it doesn't dry onto anything. Once it's dry, then I will move on to other steps of the card. Okay, so I'm going to use this Casual Friday Stamps die set. And I'm going to take these two from it. And I'm just going to place these on here. And I'm going to do a mm, small one here. Big one. And then I'm just going to run it through the big shot. So I cut these out from the Big Shot and I also cut out this Good Times and I kind of like made that line really thin so it could be kind of like curvy just for an extra effect. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put a few dots of glue on here and then stick it onto the layer. So I just glued the layer and the base together and then I added some cute little rhinestones just for a little touch of bling and a finishing touch and I accidentally did three different sizes I meant to do two but that's fine so I think this card turned out really cool and I hope you try it out it's a really fun technique and if you do be sure to leave a comment below how it turned out and yeah I'll see you next time bye thanks for watching Hi, it's Eva, and today my hand. Hey, everybody, it's. Shh. Mama! Mama's the loud one. <laughs>